Dakota, what are we going to do today? Hi, Molly. Today we're going to learn about understanding finance. Cool. I like money. Hey, guys. Can you match these words with a proper definition? Yes, Teddy. Sure, Teddy. Can I go first? I pick sales tax. Sales tax is a tax on retail products based on a set percentage of retail cost. I'll take property tax. A property tax is a tax on land and buildings that a person owns and business and farm equipment. I'll do income tax next. Income tax is a tax on the earnings of an individual or business. And last but not least, I'll do payroll tax. It's a tax that includes Social Security and Medicare taxes and is paid by the employer. Very good. Can y'all now explain the difference between gross income and net income? Of course. Gross income is the total amount an employee earns before deductions and taxes are applied. But then things like taxes and insurance are deducted from the gross income, and what you have left is net income. So net income is the amount an employee is paid after deductions and taxes are taken out. That's great. Let's look at the concept of a balanced budget. When your income equals your expenses, then you have a balanced budget. Sometimes people's budget gets out of balance. Their bills are more than their money. What can they do to fix this problem? Well, one thing they can do, Teddy, is lower their expenses. For example, they may have something optional like entertainment in their budget and they can just cut that expense out. They can also increase their income, maybe get another job or sell something. Let's do some problems. Let's say that I have $2,000 in income and I have all of these expenses, rent, utilities, transportation, medical, other, and I want to know how much money do I have for food this month. I first have to find out how much money is already designated in my expenses to see what I have left for food. If I add all of those expenses up, my subtotal is $1,700. So now I need to take my 2000 and subtract the 1700 that's essentially already spent and that will give me my money left for food. So I have $300 left for food. Let's say that I'm just a kid and I do yard work and babysitting to earn some money and these are all the expenses I have this month. I'm going to the water park, I put money in savings, I'm going to the movies, and I'd also like to buy some clothes. How do I figure out how much money I have for clothes? First, Coda, add up each side. That's right, Molly. My total income is $180. My subtotal, which means my total so far of my expenses is $140. If I take the 180, and I subtract the 140, that tells me that I have $40 that I can spend on clothes. Okay, kids, it's your turn to answer some questions. <laughs> 